गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स सो इन द कंटिन्यूइंग कवरेज ऑफ आर इज़राइल गाजा कन्फ्लिक्ट वी हैव टुडे कम अप विद अ न्यू एंड अ वेरी रिसेंट इशू समथिंग व्हिच विल बी ऑफ ग्रेट इंटरेस्ट टू यू दैट इज हाउ इंडिया इज ट्राइंग टू बैलेंस इट सेल्फ डिप्लोमेटिकली बिकॉज वी सॉ दैट यस्टडे देर वॉज अ in the weekly press conference of the ministry of external affairs there was something that was said by the mea spokesperson arindam bagchi but even prior to that prime minister modi he had put out two tweets one that was just immediately when the world got to know about what hamas has done in israel and second was when the prime minister had a telephonic conversation with the israeli prime minister benjamin netanyahu you see if we look at india's position on israel palestine issue traditionally our posture has been driven not by pragmatism but by idealism or ideologically driven because we did recognize israel in the very beginning though we had voted against the formation of israel and diplomatic relations that was set up way later however in all our wars 1962 1965 and 1971 and 1998 israel helped i mean 1999 israel has helped us in all these wars if i can tell you you know during 1962 war it was prime minister nehru who was there and there it was and there it was david ben gurion the prime minister of israel and the prime minister nehru he had asked israel for some weapons because at that time we had a fight with china david ben gurion he agreed that yes we shall be sending but prime minister nehru said that please don't send it in israeli flagged any carrier but naturally israel took a strong position that how this can happen and as a result finally india had to agree and the weapons were sent in israeli flagged vessel similarly during 1971 and all subsequent wars during kargil everyone is aware about that how israel has helped india the point is that why did we not recognize israel the funda was very simple one was international factor cold war israel was on the side of usa we were more though we were non aligned but we were more closer to ussr as well as palestine it was we were part of non aligned movement and decolonization was important aspect of that then even we wanted to have good relations with gulf nations and pakistan factor because pakistan was continuously having because of its islamic identity it was having good relations with the gulf nations and west asia and we did not want to give pakistan that stick to beat that india is with israel so it is also being said that india was being more arab than arabs themselves over the israel palestine issue and if i can recall it correctly india was the last among the last muslim non muslim nations to recognize israel and on the palestinian issue i think we were the second one itself i think it was just after turkey so such was our position and moreover the domestic politics that it was that there is a significant chunk of muslims and it was thought that if india goes for supporting israel somehow the muslims of india they will feel offended or they will not feel it good so it's better to side by palestine so you can see how because of domestic politics and because of idealism we were not siding with someone who was constantly standing by our side and on the other hand what we were getting from palestine the answer is nothing except that on kashmir issue palestine was continuously taking the sides of pakistan so we were doing everything but we were not getting anything on the other hand we were getting all the help in the crucial times from one nation that was israel 
and we were not willing to Israel. When we recognized, then the high level visit started after Kargil. We saw flurry of, I think, Indian Defense Minister first went, then Lal Krishna Advani, and then Home Minister went. And since 1914, sorry, since 2014, there has been an increase in the level of engagement. We saw how India de hyphenated the relations between Israel and Palestine as the Prime Minister made a stand alone visit to once it was Israel and then it was Palestine. And Prime Minister Modi was the first Indian Prime Minister to go to Israel. And when this conflict began, just look what Prime Minister Modi had tweeted. His first tweet was deeply shocked by the news of terrorist attacks on Israel. Our thoughts and prayers are with the innocent victims and their families. We stand in solidarity with Israel at this difficult hour. You see, in diplomacy, words and positioning, they are key, they are very critical. So when you look at this tweet, what do you find? Do you find any word called like Palestine? Any word called Gaza? There is only one name that is Israel and another and the most important term that is terrorist attack. So, we are, we have not recognized the ongoing conflict as an Israel-Palestine conflict. For us, this is simply a terror attack because the nature of attack was such. If you are killing civilians, burning young children, beheading them, what type of freedom movement is this? This barbarity can be done only by terrorists. And terrorism is the right term. So that is why India clearly said that we are against the terrorist attack and this has been India's principal position. So if a question comes that India, do you think that Prime Minister took the side of Israel and he abandoned the Palestinian cause? The answer is no. Because India has not said anything regarding Palestine. India has a very principled position that is against terrorism and it is among the key priorities of our foreign policy agenda. So how anyone can say that we are against Israel, I mean Palestine? We are against terrorism and that is how we saw it. It was simply a terror attack and we condemned it immediately. Next, after Prime Minister had a telephonic conversation with, with Prime Minister Netanyahu, he updated on the ongoing situation. People of India stand firmly with Israel in this difficult hour. India strongly and unequivocally condemns terrorism in its all forms and manifestations. So yet again you can say there is one name that is Israel and then there is another that is terrorism in its all forms and manifestations. India has been continuously saying that this good terrorism, bad terrorism, this is not going to serve its purpose. One will have to clearly distinguish. So when India says that terrorism in all forms and manifestations, it means that even in the name of freedom movement or even in the name of decolonization, taking back your colonies or because that is what not just uh, this Hamas but across the world, many on the TV panelists will say that oh they were being persecuted for last 75 hours, no one said anything and suddenly you are saying this. No one said that, who said that no one was saying? India has continuously voted in favor of Palestine. Only recently, since 2014, there has been a change in stance. So, we simply recognize this as a terror activity, terror action. And such are the times when you strengthen your position, consolidate your position. Because if we look at Indian diplomacy previously, we were Sitting on this fence, we were not taking clear-cut position. Here also you can see that India has not taken a clear-cut position, but to a larger extent, India has taken a clear-cut position. That India's interest lies with Israel. 
एंड इवन इफ पैलेस्टाइन गोज फॉर सच अट्रॉसिटी सच बारबेरिटी इंडिया इज नॉट गोइंग टू सपोर्ट इट बट इन केस ड्यूरिंग द इंटरव्यू इफ इट इज आस्ट यू विल से दैट इंडिया हैज नॉट अवेंट ऑन द पैलेस्टीनियन कॉज बट यस इंडिया वॉज अगेंस्ट द टेरिस्टिक वायलेंस एंड दैट इज वॉट हैज बीन इंडिया स्टेटेड पोजिशन सिंस द बिगिन ओके तो नेक्स्ट वेरी सिंपल थिंग इज कि आफ्टर इंडिया मेड दिस कमेंट दिस इज अ पीस फ्रॉम हिंदू न्यूज पेपर अ क्लिप एंड इफ यू रीड एट द न्यूज इट सेज दैट मेनी ऑफ द अरब नेशन दे वर कंसर्न एंड दे वॉन्टेड की वॉट इज इंडिया पोजिशन बिकॉज प्रेजेंटली इंडिया पोजिशन इंडिया वॉइस मैटर्स एंड दे सेड दैट इफ इंडिया कैन डू सच अ ग्रेट डिप्लोमेटिक बैलेंसिंग एंड दे कैन क्राफ्ट such a communicate during g20 that both west as well as russia and china could come together and a communicate could actually be released then why india is not doing now they were expecting that because when you take name of israel it is naturally expected that you will say something about palestine but here prime minister in both his tweets he named only israel and otherwise terror attack but the point is when you look at this they say that balancing what type of balance because the type of actions the barbarity that has been done by hamas or its terrorists not militants the hamas terrorists how there can how that can be balanced should india have said that we anyway we stand with the just cause of palestinians had prime minister written that in his tweet it means somewhere you are condoning that action and that is something that must not be done because had we condoned the action what was done in israel tomorrow something similar would have been done with us and someone else would have condoned that similar so if india has to take a very clear cut position that is why prime minister modi did and that is what was supposed to be done because anyway israel is a way too important partner and the type of barbarity that israel has faced and israeli president himself has said that so many killings in one day of jews this is first time since the second world war because more than i think the number has already crossed 1200 so such a large killing and in today's indian express if you read there is a detailed explanation how things have happened and you will really be surprised such gory details you just cannot believe it okay so that is why they said that this is what arab nations were saying they have the skills but we haven't seen those skills in the last 4 days it means they said that if india was saying something about israel india should also have the said something similar about palestine as well but you look at even within the arab world uae has condemned hamas bahrain has condemned hamas even saudi arabia has not come that much clearly there are two or three nations but when india is also knowing that that what saudi arabia's opinion will be what uae's opinion will be what bahrain's opinion will be because previously it was this concern concern related to energy concern related to our diaspora that was a huge road block in normalizing our relations with israel but now we know that as much we need the gulf states the gulf states also need india so now the relationship is on a more even keel so this has given us a greater independence and when you get that independence in your diplomacy you can take policies you can take decisions in your own interest yes there have been some protests within india but our political considerations our domestic considerations our voting considerations that is not something that should guide our foreign policy formulation we have seen what happened with sri lanka 
it was because the tamil parties they were the part of the government so that is why government was not openly engaging with sri lanka because the tamil parties they were looking at their own vote banks as a result what happened it was china that continuously expanded its foothold in sri lanka so this is what happens when your first target is your vote bank rather than the foreign policy and your foreign policy must not be driven by idealism its foreign policy should have a single guide and that is protecting and expanding the national interest and that is what has been done and that is what being done and that is why wherever you will listen yes there are some commentaries but those commentaries you will find on al jazeera that commentary those commentaries must not we must not bother about we are too bigger a power to bother about such comment now let us look at the statement that has been given by the mea if you look at mea statement there are many people somewhere happy somewhere saying oh this is that this is that this is a standard boiler plate statement what did the statement say that our policy has been long st long standing and consistent india has always advocated the resumption of direct negotiations establishing sovereign independent and viable state of palestine so the if the question is being asked has india changed its policy the answer is no do you see a shift in policy the answer is no only thing is that yes our relations with israel which was previously behind the closet now it is more open and we have dehyphenated our relationship with israel and palestine india has dehyphenated however india still continues to go with the palestinian cause and india still advocates for sovereign independent and viable state of palestine living within secure and recognized borders side by side at peace with israel so ultimately the two state solution however there has been a shift a minor one only the people who look at it in greater detail they will say about previously in this two state solution we used to say that east jerusalem as the capital but when you look in recent times that east jerusalem as the capital that has been missing i think since 2017 when mahmud abbas he had come to india in that joint statement the sovereign independent and viable palestine term was there but since then east jerusalem as the capital that has been missing because it is the east jerusalem only where the church of holy sepulcher and al aqsa mosque are there and these are holiest of the places for all the three faiths that is christianity islam as well as judaism i would ask you to read something about the western wall or the wailing wall then the alaksa mosque and third is the church of holy sepulcher where it is believed that that is where the jesus christ was buried and from there he resurrected okay so if we look at this balancing the point is very simple that india has segregated between terror attack and the palestinian cause india does not look this as a palestinian cause this is a terror attack so india has condemned the terror attack however india has made it very clear that india has not abandoned the palestinian cause so india on the one hand has taken that principled position of rejecting terrorism in its all forms and manifestations but at the same time india continues to uphold that two state solution but that should be a result of negotiations with israel and palestine living together peacefully side by side okay i hope you could uh, get the india's diplomatic balancing and yes in case you have got any doubts write it in the comment either it will be answered there all or in the next video you can also suggest some of the topics for videos which are your queries that's all for today's discussion thank you very much